Hello everyone, and welcome to the assembly companion video for Nico the Turtle Slider. The pattern for the Turtle Slider is published on the Hooks and Stitches website. The link is in the description, along with links to some of the supplies used in today's video. For assembly, you will need a 5 inch weaving needle, a regular yarn needle, embroidery or any type of scissors, a one inch foam roller, though this is optional. Scissors big enough to cut the foam roller, again, this is optional. And lastly, polyfill. The first thing I'm going to do is clean up or weave in my ends, except for the leg, head, and tail pieces. Those tails will be used to sew those particular pieces to the body. Weaving in is often seen as a stressful part of crochet, but it's actually my favorite part. The end result of clean pieces is very satisfying. Now we are going to grab bottom bund pieces one and two. The stitch marker is showing where I match the ends together so I could have a place to insert a yarn piece and slip stitch around. Theoretically, you do not need to start from the beginning or end, that is simply my preference. When you have a bit of space, maybe an inch or so left, start stuffing and stuff very well, even if you think it's too much. As you sew the fillings, it will somewhat flatten and shift the polyfill, and if you do not stuff it very well now, it might feel thin by the end of everything. So if you overstuff, you'll reduce that worry later. And now we will repeat that process for top bun pieces one and two. Next is the tail. The inner string will be stuffed in the tail along with some stuffing. I'll be using yarn scraps for no real reason other than it was right there and did the job well in the demo version. If you'd rather use polyfill, go ahead. The tail is pinned to fit the side of the bottom bun. Now I should explain that since the turtle is in a hexagon like shape, I chose a point and sewed the tail to that point. This hexagon visual will also be used for the legs and head. And now the legs. I have stuffed them with a piece of the one inch foam rollers. This has no bow function except perhaps more stability. And it gives me a reason to use them up as I only bought the foam rollers for one project. Since I still put polyfill on top of the foam roller, you could just use polyfill entirely if you like. As I mentioned with the tail, I imagined the turtle's body in a hexagon shape. The legs go on the four side points, which leaves the point opposite of the tail for the head. Moving on to the head, I am making sure the neck is stuffed firmly. I'm using my crochet hook to push the stuffing down. The head is pinned close to the edge of the bottom bun before sewing on as normal. It is now time for the weaving needle and the cheese. You will see me pin the back corners of the cheese, but these will not be sewn. I only pin them to keep a good handle on everything as I sew. The cheese is sewn onto the top of the bottom bun, and in the video, I used brown yarn to match the bun, but in hindsight, I should have used yellow to match the cheese, as some stitching will be seen.
The burger patty cannot be pinned, or at least not with the short pins I have. So I held it firmly. I sewed the patty around the middle so that the stuffing is pushed outward and seen prominently when everything else is done. The lettuce is pinned and is sewn onto the burger patty. The tomatoes are pinned in such a way that the edges will be seen from the front and back. As they overlap, I will sew the bottom tomato slice first, and then the second. Since the top bun is already done, I will be adding sesame seeds with simple embroidery stitches. And now, while holding everything in a firm manner, the top bun is stitched. I mainly focused on stitching around the sides, but stitching from top to bottom is also an option. And now, he is finished. Thank you very much for following along and visiting the website for the published pattern. I hope you will join me again for more crochet 